Hey guys, Dan, back with another graphic novel review. This time I'm reviewing the graphic novelization of Margaret Atwood's The Handmaid's Tale. And this, the artwork, um, has been done. It's an adaptation by Renee Nault. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing her last name correctly. But I'm pretty sure almost, I feel like almost everyone has read this book. All except for me. <laughs> and I have no excuse for why I have not read this book because I own a paperback copy somewhere on one of my many shelves in my house. I have a Kindle edition. And so when I saw that this came out as a graphic novelization, I thought it would be a sweet alternative to check this out because it's much quicker to read graphic novels than it is to actually read novels sometimes. So, um, don't be surprised, guys, when you see a couple of graphic novelizations <laughs> in the next few weeks, because I've got a couple. But, you know, I, I will admit, I have seen the Hulu series. I started, I, I watched it, and I kind of gave up after the start of Season 3. Um, season 3, I just kind of fell off. I just kind of didn't feel like I was feeling it anymore. But, you know, of course, this is the nation of Gilead. It takes place someplace in North America. They don't really um, say where it is, but we know that Canada is still there. And this religious government kind of takes over. And I didn't know that they were at war with other religious factions like the Baptists and the Quakers and all of that. And... I didn't know that until I read this. Um, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, I love the way she kind of does like these swirly kind of patterns in the background. She kind of, she really fills the pages so your eye has a lot to play over and see. And she even makes the text kind of go around certain scenes like when they're playing Scrabble and the office there and the flashback scenes there's a lot of color really really beautiful artwork um most of the time i feel satisfied by reading a graphic novelization of a book but this time i really didn't i felt like i was like i felt like this was missing something and i just don't know because i have yet to read the original work by Margaret Atwood, which I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fix that. I'm definitely gonna have to still read the original Handmaid's Tale. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying I feel like I missed something by reading this. I felt like it was missing something, but I did really enjoy this, and I did rate this four out of five stars on Goodreads. I want to show you guys some different, some different pages because there's really beautiful illustrations. I think she did a really good job of translating from what I know of the story based on the the Hulu series. I think she did a really good job of translating that story into a graphic novel. And just to get off on a side note here, I would love to see somebody do a graphic novel adaptation of Dune by Frank Herbert. I've been wanting to see that for years, and I don't think anyone's ever going to do it. I know I personally wouldn't be able to do it, because I know it would be a huge chore to do. You'd have to break that book up into number of books like this size, because it's massive. But yes, I did rate this 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I really did enjoy it. Um, I did feel like I wasn't getting the full story. I felt like I was missing something. I mean, I, I know I have to realize that basing my all my assumptions on the Hulu series, they I know they they over embellished that series to draw that out over so many seasons what was in a book. So I know maybe that's why I feel that way. But you know. I did enjoy this, and if you guys are a fan of the original book or the series, I think you should go ahead and check this out. It is, like I said, it's a beautiful hardcover edition, and they even have, like, even the inner pages, you know. I, I really enjoyed this. Of course, as always, for those of you in the U.S., I will have a link to Amazon down below for you to pick up a copy of this for yourselves. 
Um, any and all purchases made through that link, I get a very small percentage. It helps out my channel. For those of you outside the U.S., I have a book depository link. They offer free worldwide shipping, and they offer the same great discounts as Amazon. You can't go wrong with buying books through through Amazon, even though I don't agree with the way they treat their employees. I do think that they are the cheapest ones online, to be honest with you guys, and that's where I tend to buy a lot of my books that are harder to find. But that's all I got for you guys. If you came here looking for graphic novel recommendations or reviews, go ahead and hit that subscriber button. While you're there, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload videos. Like, for instance, this week I uploaded a video, I think, almost every single day of the week. And I usually tend to stick to a Friday, Saturday, Sunday upload schedule. So for those instances when I upload on off times, the notification bell lets you know when I've uploaded. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching. Until next time.